Happy Friday afternoon, y'all. It's three o'clock coffee. It's the warmest today's been, and that's only because the sun's out. Actually, our warmest temps this morning here in Louisiana was 58 at 4.30, and the temperatures are steadily declining. But the sun came out, I gave it a good hour, hour and a half, and I said, okay, I gotta put my jacket on, because I gotta come out, and make sure everything's exactly the way we left it. Uh, now, I did come out this morning, tend to the chickens, but yeah, y'all wouldn't wanna see that. Mm -mm. Big fluffy robe, yeah, mm -hmm. rubber boots, running at a high rate of fuel consumption to tend to them and get back in the house because it was still drizzly rain from the storms. But I can stand here and look around and we have nothing but some limbs down. So we fared the storms pretty good. I see the, the tarp has pulled, so I'll have to go out there and cover it. But I'm gonna set the coffee down, turn you around and show you what Buddy and Grandpa and I di did yesterday um, to prepare for this Arctic blast coming in. As well, I'll show you Buddy's uh, greenhouse. I think y'all saw it in the community post where there was a windstorm that came through. Lasted a minute, if that. And I mean, just chairs and things just went to flying and it just stopped just like it started. It was, oh, I gotta be careful. I got some eggs in my pocket. Um, but I'm gonna turn the camera around. It's just a tarp. Um, so yeah, this is all I see from the storm. Not too bad. See, it uncovered. That's all one end and I think it pulled up on this end. So I'll get that straightened and lay some bricks on it. Well, actually it pulled it way back there, I see. So I'll get that done because buddy will be dark coming in. We got a lot of rain, but I noticed something. You remember where we filled in that, whatever this was, a koi pond? I would say he leveled it pretty good. That's all the water that is standing. So I know about where that tree is, is where it's low. But I also noticed it's a little bit high down here so maybe he can get Mr. Larry's tractor again and probably blade from here coming this away. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. This is the first time we've had an abundance of rain so we could see, you know, where the low spot was. Not too bad, guys. I'm gonna go slow. I would say he graded it perfectly. See? This is what we did with the strawberry bed. You remember we have those hoops. Uh, now he did have to make some braces, the little clamps, but we've had the hoops, what, last year I think we used that PVC. So we just hooped it all the way down with the heavy plastic. And that's where the strawberries are. And then at the very end is where I just planted those um, Texas onions. So that's, that's what we come up with, which will not hurt them. I'm actually gonna leave the plastic on unless we get 60 degrees or above, you know, and then I can just roll it off. Not a big deal, it's not gonna hurt it at all. Over here is the Brussels sprouts at this end, and then towards the back end is six of the cabbage. We did the same. Remember, we left the T-post because I had a panel there for the spring garden. So he just popped a hole, it's not gonna hurt it, and draped the plastic all the way down, and then he stapled it down at the bottom. So that's what we came up with for that. My greenhouse did not move. But of course, you know, we have three feet rebarb drilled down in the landscape timbers. So, I, you know, we knew we should have done his like that. We said we would, but guys, we put it off and that's what happened. Let's see if we can peek inside. This is kind of tore, but maybe we can peek inside. Look at that. 
and I harvested our first broccoli out of here yesterday. Now I'm gonna have to get this taped down because those little Velcros don't hold. But we said if we could make it through the winter, he was gonna build doors for both greenhouses, front and back. Cause you know, these zipper doors do not last. Hey Lou, she come to join the party. So I'll have to make a note to get that taped down before tonight. And Mr. Buddy's greenhouse for all the fruit trees. He worked and worked him and grandpa to bend this back. And it bent back, as you can see, there was some holes popped. So he just put some tape on it. But what he did to secure, and that was the only pop holes that it actually took, guys. But what he did is on, let's see, both, all four corners and two down the center, he put some kind of iron that he hammered down in the ground and he zip tied for now that iron, but I think he said it went three feet, big pieces of iron. So it's gonna take a heck of a storm to pull that thing. But it'll work for now. He did leave the flap out because he will come back with the landscape timbers and the rebarb and do it just like this one. So that was a blessing that he was able to salvage this because let me tell you, when it all happened, I couldn't do nothing but stand and watch. Oh, I see it did rip here, but he's got it zip tied. But now this is temporary for those fruit trees, trying to get them established. But you know what? If this works, then it's not broken, my book. I think it's it's gonna work. But he did say he was gonna change out the cover on this. But I don't know. This is this is his greenhouse. And that one's mine. But yeah, I'm very, very blessed that we were able to get it back up, get the heater back in there. Cause guys, I didn't know what we were gonna do with 75 plants, and they are large. Y'all have seen them. We're gonna walk out here to the fruit orchard. This is what we're tackling tomorrow when we get back from our daughters. We gotta go and get the generator ready and hooked up and all for them. But we have been hunting square bales of hay for a couple of days, but he was gonna make some phone calls today while he was at work. I haven't spoke to him, so I don't know if he found it. But what we're gonna do is pile up hay around every base as much as we can because as long as we keep them warm at the base because the ground's still warm we've not had what i call cold temps that i think we can survive these fruit trees but that is our only option is to put hay around the base of every one of them so we got a full full day tomorrow and Sunday, let's see, we've got till about two o'clock Sunday. And it's gonna be batting down the hatches. <laughs> I said, oh, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. So that was kind of an update to the community post that I posted. And that was, I believe it was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's when I did the broccoli on Thursday. But I'm gonna get back in. I got, I got four eggs. I'm getting about four a day, cause they're molting. But out of ten girls, I don't put. Uh, Y'all know I don't put lights on them. I can't complain. They're doing really well. But they got all new bedding. They're nice and toasty. Just living life, you know. Just living a good bird's life. So yeah, they bless us, and in return we bless them. But not much of a video, but. This was the easiest way to show you an update. And the reason why I'm walking back out here is because that window. Remember I said, I gotta make myself a note because if I don't make myself a note, I forget that it popped open, but I'm hoping that uh, Velcro is going to stick. Then I'll come back out with some tape. So let's see. Eh, mm -mm. Now I'm gonna have to get some tape. Who was I kidding? I just walked out here for no for no reason.
<laughs> it's called lazy. You know, I knew I needed tape, but no. I was gonna try it one more time. My hand's about to freeze too. Oh. Y'all see this door? We're fixing to say bye-bye to it. Yes, next month, we finally get the new back door and the screen. And then the biggest project of the year is the new porch back there. So I'm going to look forward to seeing that door right there with that piece of material I got covering that window. I can't wait to see that sucker go. Mm-mm. It going to go bye-bye. And I'm looking forward to it. What, two years now? Baby steps. But anyhow, it's like I said, it's not much of a, a video, and it sucks being the cameraman holding this phone. I know that, and I apologize. But um, I want to give y'all an update. I'm not sure we're going to see y'all this weekend. I know many of you are like us. We're going to be fighting to keep power on, and if the power company says, yep, you ain't got none, then it's fireplace and doing the best that we all can do, you know. So, we will be praying for each and every one of you that's going to be dealing with this weather. Because in the South, guys, we're not equipped. We don't have the, the road equipment. Uh, people are not prepared like a lot of you guys are. So, you know, it's crippling to, to our area. It, the, the least little thing that comes in, you're going to lose power because all of our lines are above ground. Um, you're going to have roads closed. We have a lot of bridges. So you're going to have school out. So it's basically you just shut, everything just shuts down and you just wait it out. And it looks like Wednesday around 11, things will start melting. So we got a long ways to go. So this may be the last video that you see a buddy and I or, or myself till Wednesday. Don't hold me to that, but, you know, I can't always go up the road if we lose power and give y'all a community post, but I will definitely be giving you updates. So be looking at the community post, and we will be praying for each and every one of you. But we can do this. We're strong. We can make it through this Isageddon, Snowmageddon, whatever they want to label it. I just call it cold. So my behind's going to be in front of the fireplace. That's where you're going to find Lippy with her coffee. You know, it's called Lippy thing. Mm-hmm. Y'all, <laughs> couldn't have been a better saying. <laughs> it's a Lippy thing. So as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Boy, my arm got a cramp in. Did y'all see that? I was like, oh, I'm going to drop them. But I'll see y'all on the next one. I love y'all.